I pace these lanes where progress and decay scribble wry palimpsests across the scene. The raw byre gable shoulders concrete clean where once a reeking midden seeped away. The tractor treads have sliced into the clay but left a middle track still clover green. Once homesteads, now those wallsteads bulge and lean and nettles flower where children used to play. And all those old men gone, those slow old men, whose thumbs were thick with skills I could not share, at lone an end or gate, shall not again foregather, nor at church door or the fair. The shepherd, scythesman, blacksmith, carpenter, as life drains surely down the tree-dark glen. In Bangor's eastward suburb, Ballyholm, John's house was pitched, not in the older town, where buildings, dwellings, sweet shops, shoulder down to join the seafront where the trippers come, but in a long a new developed road, one of the villas of those prosperous men who travelled to Belfast and back again, their families nested in each snug abode. These villas, not manorial or vast, were comfortable, every want supplied by errand boys, by things which came by van. What little happened there occurred inside, except on Sundays when whole families passed to pay due tribute to the Son of Man. With frost again, the thought is clear and wise that rain made dismal with a mist's despair. The raw, bleak earth beneath cloud-narrowed skies finds new horizons in the naked air. Light leaps along the lashes of the eyes. A tree is truer for its being bare. So must the world seem keen and very bright to one whose gaze is on the end of things who knows past summer lush, brimmed autumn's height, no promise in the inevitable springs. All stripped of shadow down to bone of light, the false songs gone and gone the restless wings. <laughs> 